So uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm Jake Weldy. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Pennsylvania in the GRASP lab. And I'm also Vangelos Kajapadezis. I'm also a PhD student at the GRASP lab. Uh, and we're going to get started talking about equivariant robotics. Um, how am I going to use the mic? Um, so, most of you are probably familiar with this since you're here, but today I'm going to be interested in talking about secondary robotics. And by that, there's sort of two major flavors. The one way of practical is here, there's the invariance, where we think about a function in some input space and some output space, and some set of transformations on those space. And we want that function to have the same value after it's subjected to inputs underground that transformation. And so, in robotics, you can think about this as a classifier. Flashing chain if you rotate the object, or a possible work function that can stay the same in the library. The other flavor is equivalence, where that function, after we apply the transformation, we might get exactly the same result as we did with work transformation, but, but that result might be related by transformation of the output space by the same or by the first transformation. And so that's some of the robots dynamics. Where if you translate the space, uh, you know, things are sort of from the same, but it's modified a little bit. It could be an edge detector, where if I move the input in my image, the edge should be the same now. Or it could be reduced sort of model dynamics, where if I sort of project through the resource space and then propagate the dynamics, I should get the same result as if I first propagate the dynamics. And so, broadly speaking, we're interested in a guiding principle that when given some data and given symmetry, we'd like whatever we're doing with that data, whatever solution we draw, to support that best feature as well. So that's what we're going to talk about today in robotics. And really, in a couple of areas of identifying this has become very prevalent and very exciting. One is perception, another is estimation, and another is control. And what we've been like today is workshop where we've lost a number of different speakers, and we've all contributed a number of really nice different posters to draw some parallels between how we're doing this in different domains and maybe cross pollination in my mind. We'd also like to invite other members of the robotics community to come on into this area and start exploring these techniques. And something I think would be fun about this workshop is that uh, it exists somewhere on the spectrum of data and data driven methods. Some of those data driven today are purely analytical, some are very much data driven, but you know, most of these methods sort of sit somewhere in the uh, I think that's exciting. So you'll hear 16 notes from a whole bunch of awesome speakers for uh, the first three of one of those sessions. We'll head over to the post session to the other room. I'm going to get that part of the whole uh, So it's a little far, but you need to hear some talking about where it is. Uh, and then we'll have two more keynotes followed by a panel discussion and getting out of the next uh, And I just want to briefly mention before we start, this workshop is sponsored by the IEEE Technical Committee on Computer and Robot Vision. Uh, if you're interested in these topics, you can follow them on Twitter, you can also become a member, uh, and they're probably there. So with that, I think we can get started with the first keynote. Actually, we're a little bit ahead of schedule. So uh, maybe the, the first speakers can come up and set up, and then we'll, we'll get started from there. <laughs> 